Um, I have some few uh, incidences that I feel I should share uh, with you in line to the activities and cases that we register in this region. First, we have an alleged murder in Aleptong district. The territorial police in Aleptong district had in custody one Ayugi Brenda on allegation of killing a grandchild who is identified as among Angel, four years old. This happened from Alele TD cell, Awiepek Ward, Malawi Town Council, Aleptong District. After a report was registered at Aloe Police Station on the 30th August 2024 by a concerned a citizen, Ogwang Vincent. It was alleged that on the 21st of August 2024, at around 800 hours in the morning, a Yugi Brenda, who is 32 years old, the step grandmother to Angel, while going to harvest a sunflower, instructed Alum Priska to take the baby to her if she starts a crying. And indeed, at around 1,000 hours, Priska carried the baby and took to her in the garden where she had gone to harvest a sunflower, leaving the other children playing at the neighborhood. Later in the evening, they all went back home without among Angel until on the 27th of August, 2024, when a case of disappearance was reported by a Yale Andrew LC1 of Alele TD cell, and subsequently on the 30th of August, when the body of Angel was discovered dead already in the bush, few meters away from the sunflower garden. Police visited the scene and confirmed finding the body lying and was naked with injuries on the forehead. Probably someone could have used a blunt uh, objects, including the legs. This child was allegedly blood brought to a Yugi Brenda by her mother, Awuno Immaculate, who had separated with the father, Obongo uh, Silvestro and later went to, to stay in Lira uh, City. This is uh, quite a demonic act of killing, and unfortunately, she was apprehended, and all necessary proceedings are still ongoing. Though, because she had also a one-year-old baby who fell sick from our police cells, she had been given a police bond. We also want to advise mothers that if marriages becomes bad, kindly go and die either with hunger or with whatever challenges that you will be experiencing with your baby than handing over a baby to a hands of a devil or somebody whom you don't trust that can take care of your child. So this case is still going under investigation and unfortunately we are not getting clear uh, information from the members around in line to uh, this matter. Two, uh, we had two different uh, accident cases in North Yoga last week where we had two fatal cases registered. North Kyoga police registered two fatal accidents last week in Dokolo and Lira City. In Dokolo, a pedestrian identified as a Tim Mary, age 52 years old, a resident of Amuli Cell, Eastern White Dokolo Town Council in Dokolo District, was knocked on the 31st of August 2024 at around 1900 hours from Abu Awiri Road by one Otala Robert who was riding a motorcycle 
Bajaj red in color. Both of them sustained injuries after the incident and were all rushed to Dokolo Health Center 4 for treatment. However, the next day of 1st September 2024, Mary was pronounced dead and the body was subsequently taken to the mortuary for postmortem. Police later visited the scene and recovered the motorcycle and it has been taken to Dokolo Central Police Station pending IOV inspection. Then also in Lira City we had uh, three people were knocked by a speeding motor vehicle not yet identified but suspected to be a Toyota Yax coming from Soroti side to Lira City on a very high uh, speed. When it reached Agueng Abala along Lira Soroti Highway, the driver lost control and the vehicle rammed into the pedestrian who were walking along the road. And these were Ojok Tony, 38 years old, Achuma Robert, 30 years old, and another victim yet uh, to be identified. All were injured and rushed to Lira uh, Hospital for treatment. But the medics confirmed Ojok Tony dead already on arrival. The other two are still receiving a treatment. Meanwhile, the deceased body has been picked and conveyed to the mortuary pending a postmortem. A hand for the driver is still on as he dropped away. We encourage him to report himself to any near a police facility for investigation. After all, the vehicle could be having uh, a mark in line to the impact that could have caused. In Otuke district, we registered death by droning. The territorial police in Otuke district on the 31st of August 2024 handed over the body of a 12-year-old Okelo Charles, a resident of Wiyumol village, Oret Parish in Puran sub-county in Padi district. It was alleged that on the 30th of August 2024, the deceased went to visit his grandmother, Awili Sophie, who is 50 years old, a resident of Akwach A village, Ogoro Parish, Bajubi sub-county in Utuke district. However, the next day, at around midday, the boy sneaked and went to a sand mining site for swimming where water is gathered. Just within a quite a village. Unfortunately, he allegedly got a drone and later the body was discovered on the water already dead. The report was made to the police in Bajubi police post. The scene was visited by a team of police officers from Motuke CPS and Bajubi police. Body retrieved from the water, examined, and no sign of injuries or violence was witnessed on the body. Postmortem was conducted from there, and uh, the, doctor, the, the doctor confirmed that this boy died of drowning. He handed over the body to the relatives for burial. At that sand mining site, for sure it has accumulated much water due to the heavy rains and this posed a very big threat uh, to the people living in the area as it attracts our children to go uh, swimming. We encourage the security team at the district to sit with the community members and suggest measures how best that site can be uh, protected from such uh, incidences. Then also we had a case of disappearing of a child in Lira District. Our territorial police in Lira District have registered a case of disappearing of a four-year-old child, Juk Darius, which occurred on the 26th of August 2024 at around 900 hours.
from Gulwo village, Ayami sub county in Lira district. It was alleged that on the 25th of August, the child went to the garden with his grandmother, Akidi Agnes, and Akulu Yunis. They left the child behind while they were uprooting beans, but later they failed to see the child where they had left him, thinking probably the child could have walked back home. But when they reached home, they didn't find the child. A search was conducted, but all in vain. They therefore reported the matter to the office of the area LC1, and subsequently LC1 advised them to report the matter to Ayami a police. A case of child disappearance was registered at Ayami police and uh, SD reference 04 of 26-28-2024 and subsequently a CRB at the Lirad District Central Police Station was opened 327 stroke 2024 Statement were recorded and the alleged place where they believe that the child disappeared from. Our scene of crime officers moved on crown. Efforts to look for the child is still on and we appeal to anyone who could have seen the child anywhere to inform and call the district a police commander on telephone number 0758. 26, 90, 24. And uh, last but not least, we registered the case of alleged a murder and unnatural offense in Uyam District. Our territorial police in Uyam District under the CID have, are investigating alleged sodomy and unnatural offense which caused a death. It was alleged that on the 8th of August 2024, at around 1 in the night, Odongo Sam, who is the husband to the deceased Angom Sara, allegedly sodomized the wife and she sustained serious injuries with much pain. And she went to seek medical attention at Ngai L Center 3 and was eventually asked to go to Abok L Center 4 where she was examined by the doctors and the relatives were informed about the complication on the woman. The complication was on the uterus as well as the anus. However, the doctor made a referral to Mlago National a Referral Hospital for better a treatment. But seems the family failed to raise money to take the suspect. And they took this, I mean, to take the victim to Mlago National Referral Hospital. So they instead took this woman back at home. And on 29th of last month, this woman died uh, from home. This issue was a little tricky for us to understand. I have got a series of calls from some of you, but the matter had not yet reached the office of the district CID. She just received this uh, matter yesterday. Yet this is an incident that happened on the 8th of last month. We got information that the report was made at Ngai police where this man was arrested on the 13th but given bond and as we speak now he is at large. So postmortem was conducted and indeed the report indicates that the vaginal part and the anus was really ruptured. Probably this man could have used other objects other than the penis. It is very, very unfortunate. The rumors, okay, it's, it's not good for me to comment on rumors, but uh, the file has already reached the office of the district CID, and this matter has been taken up. 
and uh, it's closely being followed. We appeal to whoever know Odongo Sam to support us so that we get him back. Finally, last week you asked me to get for you the breakdown of the defilement cases that we received in the previous three months that I shared with you, May, June, and July. We registered 190 cases of defilement. The ones that are undergoing inquiries are 124. Cases that have been put away are 10 so far. Cases taken to court are 56. The ones that we've made convictions are only five. This is how the statistics stand. Definitely, as police, we are doing our best to see that the perpetrators of these cases are handled by the law. However, we have some few challenges. A case in point, people report defilement cases and stay away. Immediately after getting the, I think people just come for purposes of getting case references. But when they get back home, they initiate a process of negotiation, which is a very challenging uh, matter. And sometimes when a complainant comes back to the police or doesn't come back at all, it becomes very tricky for us investigating an uh, institution for seeing that justice is realized. Probably due to poverty. And also we have little support from complainant during investigation. Because some of the complainants tend to, I would say, they, 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 some of them, their interest moves away, okay? Lost of interest from the complainant, probably, from the relatives. And another challenge is we lack a police surgeon in this region for purposes of filling a police form a 3A and police form a 24A. So I think with this, our leaders at strategic level are already aware and we are very much sure that if we get a police surgeon, we'll be able to have a quicker uh, report in line to medical because sometimes you go to uh, these health uh, facilities, like at Rufaro, you may find a doctor who is supposed to attend to these victims, may not be there, he could have gone to the field. So some of those gaps are always there. It makes it a little uh, difficult for delaying the process of our investigation. I thank you for listening. I say all this for God and my country. The way it means it has gone to the state, and the state has read through the file and found no subs substantial evidence in line to the findings. And this brings me to say we get difficulties from members of the public, particularly the complaint, all those who are aware about the incident. People tend to shy away. People excuse themselves. They lift police at the forefront, which is okay. But police does not work in isolation. We work as a team to see that at the end of the day justice prevails on the allegation that could have come. Thank you. It is hard to say how common it is because as police we rely on what comes before our desk at police facilities. It could be happening in the community but people shy away from reporting. A case in point is very one. An incident that happened on the 8th Okay, and it took some few days for this woman to come and report, or a relative to go and report to the police. So it's it's unfortunate. But sometimes this incident happen, but people tend to shy away. 
It's like we've been having cases of women beating up men in marriages, okay? But when a woman is beaten, even before, even if when they're just quarreling, it is already reported somewhere that such and such. A, but let a woman beat a man. Women will tend to shy away from such cases. But in the books of law, it cut us across. There is nowhere you'll say a, 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 a woman cannot beat a man. It can happen. So sometimes our men shy away from these cases of domestic violence acts of beating probably at home and because you feel you're a man who have muscles you don't want to be ashamed that a woman has beaten you i think that is not right and even our police officers we advise them to be receiving those cases at times even our police officers tend to worsen even the situation a man's come to report at the counter they start what they start laughing it's unfortunate, but these are incidents that we have been getting as complaint from members of the public. When we go for training, workshops, some of these issues come out that our personnel again start laughing. How can a man, how can a woman beat you as a man? So this also makes a man to withdraw from reporting, but we are encouraging them to come up and report in line to, to that. Thank you. Another question?